In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the content of a document of a Firestore collection from a Flutter app using an example of a shopping list app. So first of all, you have to create a map containing the data to be updated. And then you have to get an instance of the document that you want to update. For that, first of all, you have to get the reference of the collection. So you have to get an instance of the collection reference and then you have to get the reference of the document an instance of the class document reference and then you have to call the function update on this document reference and to this function update you have to pass the map containing the data to be updated so for this video i am going to use a shopping list app as the example so here is the app and here is the corresponding firestore database so here we have some documents inside the collection shopping list and now we are going to update the content of these documents so here in the details page for a particular item we have an edit icon on the app bar on clicking this a form appears pre-filled with the existing content and then the user can update you the user can edit this information and then on clicking the submit button we are going to update the corresponding information on the corresponding document of the Firestore collection. So now we are going to implement the on press function of this submit button. Now to interact with a Firestore database from a Flutter app, we have to add the package Cloud Firestore to our project. So on the terminal, we can run the command flutter pub add and then the name of the package which is Cloud Firestore. And if we hit enter now, this will install this package Cloud Firestore on our Flutter project. Inside the lib directory of this Flutter project for the shopping list app, we have a file called edit item. Inside this file, we have a widget which is responsible for displaying this form for editing a particular item. So this page, this widget is loaded when we click on the edit icon of the details page, right? So from the details page, we pass the information, the existing information of the corresponding shopping list item. So we pass a map. Inside the map, we have the title and the quantity of the item to be displayed. We are creating two text editing controllers and while creating it, we are assigning the existing information to the property text of the corresponding text editing controllers and we are passing this text editing controllers to the property controller of the corresponding text form fields so now this text form fields will be pre-filled with the existing data and now here inside the on press function of the elevated button after validating the input fields we are going to update the information on the corresponding document of the firestore collection so for that, first of all, we are going to create a map. Inside this map, we are going to add the information in key value pair. So we are going to add the key name and the key quantity. So these are the name of the fields that we have for our documents. Now to the property, to the key name, we are going to pass the text of the first text form field. So we are going to pass controller name dot text. This will give us the text entered into the first text form field and for the key quantity we are going to pass controller quantity dot text which will give us the text entered into the second text form field now as we are going to access the apis of the cloud firestore package inside this file at the top we are going to import the library cloud firestore now let us come back to this on press function and here now we are going to get the reference to our collection shopping list so we are going to call the function collection on the instance of the class firebase firestore and we are going to store this reference on a variable of type collection reference so this function collection when called on an instance of the function firebase firestore gives us an instance of the class collection reference Using this reference, we can perform different operation on the corresponding collection. We have to pass the name of the collection to this function collection. So in this case, it is shopping list. And now we are we have to get 
a reference of the particular document that we are going to update. So for that we have to call the function doc of the class collection reference. So on this instance of the collection reference we are going to call the function doc and to this function doc we have to pass the id of the corresponding document. So at this moment we don't have the id inside this class. So we are going to pass that from the details page. So let us take a look at the widget for the details page. So here we have this file item details. If you open this one, you will notice that we are building the layout inside a function named build widgets widget tree. To this function we are passing the different information that we need to build the layout and we are also passing the map containing the data from the document reference, document snapshot. So at this moment we are passing the data that we get by calling the function data on this instance of document snapshot. But this function data does not give us the document id. So this gives us the value of the different fields of the document. The content of it that we have inside that document. But to get the document id we have to use the getter id of this instance document snapshot itself. So we are going to add the document id to this map itself. So let's add a key named doc id and to this key for inside the map for the key doc id let us add the value document snapshot dot id. So this map is being passed to build widget tree and inside build widget tree while creating the app bar inside the on page function of the edit button while loading the edit page we are passing this map to the edit page. So now inside the edit item page we can get the document id from this map shopping item itself. So let us come back to the on press function again and here while calling the function doc of the collection reference let's pass the document id. So the map shopping item is inside the widget class so we have to use the reference widget. And by using the key doc id we can access the id of the corresponding document. Now this function doc gives us an instance of the class document reference and now we can call the function update on this instance to update the information of the corresponding document. We have to pass the map containing the updated data to this function update. Now save the changes and let us load the app. Let us try to make some changes here and now if we click on this button the corresponding value of the corresponding document should get changed. So press the button submit and notice this quantity getting changed inside this document of our Firestore fire database. So this is how we can update a corresponding document of a Firestore collection. Now for other related resources take a look at the description section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.